Well, the countdown to the eclipse is in its final days now. What do we got? Where's the clock? Three days, mm. seven something hours. Whatever. A lot of people are getting ready. Oh yeah, and one of the largest gathering of eclipse watchers will be at Rosecrans Airport. Fox Wars Rob Collins joins us live with what you can expect if you're heading out there. Rob? Hey, Abby, good morning. You expect a lot of people out here at Rosecrans Airport. They've made spaces for 5,000 parking spots for folks, for cars, RVs, buses. Folks are even camping. And the man who's in the center of it all, this man, this is Mr. Michael Bockett. He's a senior editor and photo editor of Astronomy Magazine. He's a big deal. He's <laughs> out here taking part. You're going to be out here front and center Monday. Yes, sir, all day. All right, now this is your 14th total eclipse. That blows my mind. I know. Um, you know, once you see one, believe me, the, the first question you ask when this eclipse is over, where's the next one? Mm -hmm. You recently wrote 25 tips for watching the eclipse. Two of them jumped out at me. One of them was keep the eclipse sacred. What do you mean by that? I mean that especially during the part where the moon completely covers the sun, the total part of the eclipse, don't be playing music, don't be chatting with your friends, don't be taking pictures, you know, just just concentrate on the glory in the sky. As we're looking at the video of the path to totality, which comes right through here, okay. two minutes, 39 seconds, or pretty close thereof. And you just said, don't take a picture, but that seems ironic to me because you're the photo editor of the magazine. <laughs> I know. So don't take a picture while of the eclipse? That's right. You know, Totality lasts here in St. Joe, 2 minutes and 39.3 seconds. Okay. Sorry, I'm an astronomer. Yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, why would you waste any of those seconds fooling with a camera? You know, and, and believe me, as the photo editor, no offense to your viewers, but with a digital SLR or a point-and-shoot camera or a cell phone, mm -hmm. you're really not going to capture the image that's going to make it into the pages of Astronomy Magazine. People have been taking photos of eclipses that have seen 20, 25 eclipses. Those are the pictures. And even those pictures can't compare to what you'll see in the sky. All right, uh, last quick thing here. Next hour, we're going to make a telescope. We are going, I'm going to show you a, t a very safe solar telescope that you can actually look at the sun with. Very cool. That's coming up. If you want more eclipse information, go to our website, fox4kc.com. And I believe we have a little special airing. Is that right, guys? Yes, we do. Saturday and right. Sunday. Rob, I predict the number one photo taken from this generation will be the selfie with the eclipse. What do you think? Yeah, there'll be a lot of millennials trying to yeah. do that selfie pose. They need to turn around and look at the sun yes. instead of the camera hey. lens. So. Aye. All right. Thanks, Thanks. Rob. This weekend, be sure to watch the Fox 4 Big Blackout 2017 special Saturday, 6 p.m. And again, Sunday night at 11 p.m.